And I remember every time she was in her room, um, at the same time in the evening, she put on gospel music or Christian music. And at this time, I knew. Um, no, okay, that's good. Hello, hello. So today is going to be a video where we talk about our testimony, like how we found our way to God, and just yeah, the way we found Christ. Yeah. So let's just get and, started. Um, we grew up in a kind of like non-Christian family. Of course, um, my dad and my mom believed that there's a God, but it wasn't kind of like very intense. Like they didn't follow Christ, let me just say that. So we used to also go to church, you know, kind of like normal families, just go on Christmas or sometimes on Sundays because um, our grandma truly kind of like wanted us to go on Sundays. So we just kind of like growing up just wanting doesn't even wanting the connection with god so yeah. we just believe that there's a god but we didn't, didn't want to know him yeah um, so yeah so as mrs said um our grandma was kind of like or is kind of like the only person who um follows christ and who is truly yeah. a believer and has faith yeah growing up she um when whenever we were visiting her for eating um we always pray before we eat um when we were at her house or when we slept at her house we all or she always prayed for uh, for us before we go to bed so that was kind of the only thing um was was connecting us to god yeah. kind of at the way because she was always praying for us also i think like um in this kind of very young age when somebody's just praying for you and mm -hmm. you, nobody truly explains you okay what does it actually mean praying or what does god stand for then I, I never truly um, yes. believed or I was not, not like, oh, you, she truly prayed for me. And right now, since I realized my grandma always prayed for us before we went to bed, it's like, wow, you know, like, wow. But in this young age, we didn't yeah. truly like recognize that she's actually praying for us. And I guess um, like realizing it right now, um, I guess we always had the Holy Spirit in us because she prayed for us. And so big thanks to her grandma that she prayed for us yeah. ever since we were young. So that was kind of the beginning um, growing up. Then moving on to the age of kind of, we went to school, like to um, from the fifth grade, I would say, to the 10th. Um, then for me, it always uh, began that before we had um, a test in school, um, because for us or for me, school was always very stressful and had, yeah. so we had so big struggles in school. So whenever we had a test or like a big, thing going on in school i looked at the sky and remember just saying like god if you did like literally yeah, help us not everything went um we went good and whenever i just looked in the sky and said okay god like if you're there um help us help me um let this test um be good and just yeah help us and we will come to the age of kind of 15 to 16 or beginning of um 17 i would say I also um, had there like my first boyfriend and it was just like um, every time something just I just didn't feel well and I truly like kind of felt like just falling to the ground um, yeah I always kind of prayed of course in this time I didn't know what truly praying means I just kind of like speak to God and just looked in the sky and was just like please Lord just I wasn't even I don't even know if I truly said like Lord but I just um I don't know I just kind of prayed yeah so in this time truly we just kind of prayed when something just wasn't good or we just felt bad and yeah that was it kind of like so then uh, moving on actually um the same age so the same same time at the 16 yeah. to like kind of 17 um or 15 to 17 I would say more we um to be honest, like here in our where we live, um, drinking is like a thing um, that you do at a very young age. Like I guess I had my first um, beer at the age of fourteen, I guess. Yeah. But very um, young. Uh, then at the age of fifteen to uh, seventeen, we um, of course getting drunk, drunk sometimes, going to clubs, and you know, in this age, you kind of like figure out yourself what you like, what know. you don't like. And then also you surrounded with people, worldly people, and then of course we got into drinking. We got, we truly didn't smoke that much. Just what means that much? Like we, 
smoked one or two times yeah we tried it but um then also like you know getting to know boys and this and this so it was kind of like a time for us um where we did teenage a lot time. of teenage time yeah. so we did a lot of stuff which um wasn't that good now yeah. in our eyes so um, for me or for us it actually began uh, with gratitude like where we were on holidays and i don't know why but like something in my body felt like i had so much gratitude in my body i was so thankful for everything because i saw um like where we're living we, i don't know like something in my body said like being thankful and all that so it kind of began with that our testimony is not like a truly crazy thing like mm -hmm. i um saw a lot of testimonies on youtube so Therefore, testimony is very kind of calm. I um, gave my life to Christ a bit earlier than my sister, but um, I do not truly know how it um, went. But yeah. I remember the time when um, I was, I was just something my body felt like, okay, open the Bible, and truly God told me open the Bible. So I was just open the Bible because I remember that we had one upstairs. So I was just like sitting in my room and truly reading the Bible, and I. Um, I was reading the Old Testament, which is, of course, everybody knows a bit harsh and, you know, but truly I was getting very interested all of a sudden. And then I also like asked my grandma this and this and I truly, I don't know, just something truly hit to me. And then I also remember the time when um, I was, I think it was 2024 on Sylvester, like when I was sitting upstairs one night before the new year begins, I was like, Jesus, honestly, like I truly want a connection with you and i truly want you to kind of like it was very hard for me to open a bible i was like um i don't know i i need to open a bible but i why do i need to because nobody needs to just like the thing you know you want to open a bible to get more to god so i was just praying lord please um the next year i want to come closer to you so help me to just open a bible and let it be more easier for me to connect with you so um i remember this like it was yesterday this was 2000 22 to 2023 i think and then was the time where i truly like you know gave my life to christ mm -hmm. so, yeah so i would say in this time especially that where something this was i remember it also very much it was i guess it was december um 2022 and it was kind of the time my first prayer was, um, please God, remove everybody that is not good for me and that is stopping me from getting closer to you. So I just prayed it and I didn't know that it, it has so much affected, like that God can actually remove everybody that is not good mm -hmm. for you. So, of course, like my prayer got answered and um, the two friends that we had, um, yeah, we kind of disconnected us from them. Um, yeah so we disconnect from them and then we had actually nobody we had no friends we had just us two and god so um <clears throat> i remember we did in december like the first day we did something alone i don't know it did, <clears throat> didn't felt um i didn't feel alone but i it was kind of free i didn't i felt free and it felt like i don't know like something new has begun yeah but also at this time i wasn't truly reading the bible i wasn't really truly praying um, I remember one time I had fail, failed in school and it was so, such a big thing for me because she didn't fail, uh, but I failed and it was, so, it was summer 2022. Oh no, 2023? I don't know. I don't know. I really remember. But I failed and it, I was so sad and like, I was so tired of school and everything. So I remember sitting in my room and kind of crying. And I remember every time she was in her room, um, at the same time in the evening, she put on gospel music or Christian music, and at this time I knew she was. Um, no, I cannot do that. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, getting kind of emotional. So yeah. um, I remember um, that I was sat in my room. I was so like sad and like tired of like school, and I had so much pressure on my shoulder. Like I felt like so heavy, something on my heart, and I didn't know really why. So I heard her always um, at this evening also putting on her Christian music or gospel music and I knew at this time she's either praying or either um, reading the Bible. So I don't know what to, I didn't know what to do so I went at her room and she saw me crying so of course she said like okay come to my room like sit down and then she said do you want to pray uh, with me and this was like kind of the first time we prayed together 
So, and then also we kind of like begin to cry because yeah, I, I knew was she needed God, but I was just, um, I was also pretty much kind of inspiring her to truly like, you know, sit down and read the Bible and God can truly help um, you with everything. And um, then the beginning, we um, kind of like started to pray more together so I can yeah. help her with it. So, yeah, we prayed together the first time and it was, I don't know, such a beautiful thing because I saw her talking. Like, she was only talking because I couldn't talk. I was crying. And I felt like after the prayer, the pressure was truly gone. And I just said, oh, I will get everything together and everything will be fine. Just something said to me and everything went fine. So the mm -hmm. stress I had or I made was literally, truly, like, nothing. So, yeah. yeah. So um, in the end, kind of like how we found God, it's just a very a smooth thing because it wasn't like, okay, we, I don't know, we were drug dealers and then this and God, you know, it was kind of like a very uh, emotional, but very, very beautiful thing. Um, so it was very, very beautiful how yeah. we just found God. I feel also like when you, when you found God, you would definitely be way more grateful for everything. Yeah, like course. you just, and especially when you're more grateful, you are more happy and you are like, I got everything I ever needed and if you got Jesus you truly got everything you've ever needed and yeah. you don't need anyone else and um, of course like at this time um, it was like a year ago um, and whenever we give uh, gave our life to Jesus to Christ um, we started yeah being more thankful for everything um, and then also of course we starting to look at our behavior basically we're almost done yeah, so that is actually kind of um, our way, our testimony, how we found our way to God, to Christ. Um, and yeah, whenever this day, we are truly trying to um, get better, get every day better. Um, of course, we fail sometimes. Of course, we do sin because we are sinners. Everybody is a sinner. So we're trying um, our best to walk in God's way, to walk God's way, um, truly. Um, of course, like of uh, also kind of like a... Thing we want to give to you um, if you have any questions or if you are also like trying getting closer to God or you kind of have struggles right now I don't know just let us know we of course want to help you um, because for us it's very important that we keep in God um, in, our content. in our content because yeah. as we always said he's the one who literally did everything for us so um, yeah, I think that's with the video. Yeah, that's with the video. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Or if you just want to speak in private, just text us on Instagram or on TikTok. Yeah. And we will truly try to help in Jesus' name. So, um, in Jesus' name, amen. So, yeah. Thank you, See guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.